Hey guys, it's Tyson Logan back with another video for you, uh, and today we're going to be uh, doing our first review that's kind of in and around based the uh, Assassin build that we did. Obviously, it's got the Gigabyte G1 Assassin motherboard in there, and the water cooling from Special Tech, and the Zotac 580s, and the Kingston Solid State, but anyway. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a speaker set uh, from Scythe, or Skythe, however you want to uh, pronounce it, and it's the Crowcraft speaker set. But we've also got some um, Karma Bay amps for them as well. Uh, you can pick the uh, speakers up for around about £40-45, pounds, and roughly the same sort of money for the amps as well. Uh, the reason why I decided to do it on the um, Assassin build is because it's got that creative audio chipset built in for the onboard audio. Um, and uh, where the, um, uh, the side kit is relatively well placed, as in all right, well priced, um, I would have thought people would have been using uh, onboard audio or a basic graphics card. So it kind of fits in with the, the creative chip that's in there because obviously it's uh, designed heavily at gamers. But what we're going to do is I'm going to bring you in, give you a close look around uh, the speakers, give you a close look at uh, a couple of the amps, and then uh, it's a bit of a trial and error really because we're going to. Uh, I found a website that does um, some royalty free music that we can use on YouTube as long as I mention them, and it's in Comptech. But you'll see in a minute because I'll actually show you the web page to try and make it fairer on them, and I'll mention them underneath in the comments as well. And then we'll do some gaming. Um, but anyway, let's uh, bring you in and we'll have a good look at these uh, speakers. Right then guys, first of all, now, these are a bit dusty because I've been using them for a little while. The, the weight of these speakers, they're, they're very sturdy, very well built, you know what I mean? They're, they feel solid. Um, and you can see you've got the large, large mid-bass driver at the bottom and then the tweet at the top. Uh, and this actually has got this enormous magnet in the back as well. They've made the magnet a lot bigger to try and give a better bass response. Uh, if we spin it round, I'll pull a bit of cable through so I don't want to uncouple everything. You can see it's got a large bass reflex port up the top here. And the idea is, is you've got the uh, speaker driver here, but then this port comes near enough to the front and it's to try and give you a better uh, bass response and better clarity. Now all the fitments are these, I call them banana fittings, but I'm not sure what they're called, but they're gold plated and they basically, you slide your cable through and then screw them on and that's it, job done. Um, but like I said, they're, they're very weighty, good build quality, got like a textured finish, try and get it on the light so that you can see it a bit better. And then gold driver at the bottom and then the uh, tweeter at the top. Now. If I scoop this back, what I want to do is sh quickly show you the Karma Bay amp. Now the idea with this is, it's quite clever, you can use this on your desk if you would like, and it's got feet, or if you unscrew, now I'm trying to get it in the light so that you can actually see, if you unscrew that, uh, it, and there's another one on the other side, there is um, fittings there, so you can stick this in uh, an optical drive in your case. It's just the right size for an optical drive, so you can run it internal. Now, although it needs 12 volt there, what they do is they sent you an adapter that will plug into the wall to power this, or, quite cleverly, there's also an adapter with a Molex on the end. So if you do run it inside your rig, you can power it from your uh, power supply. Now, these fittings on the side are your speaker fittings. And uh, this is the, uh, uh, what are they called? I can never remember. But these are the fittings for your audio. Um, now you get these uh, and you'll get a normal, in fact I'll grab the cables quickly, just while you're there. Oh, he's back. You get your normal kind of cable kit for these. If you use them from, you know, like stereo or something like that, or whatever, if you've got these on your rig, but they also send you one of these to a three and a half inch, um, uh, like headphone jack, so you can plug it into the onboard audio on your rig, which is what we've done, and it's pretty much it's that. There we go. 
I can't pull it out any further. It's that with one of those on the end, two of those on the end. So it's quite simple. As you can hear, I've got them plugged in. Super, super professional. Anyway, that's that amplifier. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop you off and show you the one that we'll actually be using in the video. This is the one that we're going to be using in the video. This one has actually got uh, the option of selecting four different inputs. Uh, still has the um, ability to go in the front of your case, but technically if you've got this on your desktop like we have or I have, you could have your PlayStation plugged into it, your telly, you know, you could have many things. It's got a um, bass and treble adjuster, power button at the bottom. Headphone, you can mute it all. You can have another input in the front, and also you can. Uh, uh, it says USB power, so what I'm assuming is you can plug because it doesn't really say very clearly in any of the manuals or anything. You can plug uh, something that requires charging. Um, uh, for argument's sake, like your mobile phone or something, I quite often charge mine from the computer. You can plug it into this instead, which is quite good. And then obviously this is your volume. But what I'm going to do is put you back on the tripod now and we'll um, have a listen to some music and we will also, I will get it in, I'm still talking, we'll have a listen to some music but we're also going to do some gameplay. Now the reason why I've got the speakers like this kind of pointed at me, I'll wait for my lovely neighbours to finish revving their van up. But, um, the reason why I've got the speakers like this is this is the way that they say they should be de designed. You should be like the centre point and then the speakers are meant to be aimed at you. So you're almost like you're in a triangle. So if you were the Samsung label here, sat here playing the games, then your speakers should be at either corner so that they come in. At least that's what they say in the box. But anyway, what we're going to do now is listen to some of this free music. Now, uh, I just need to kind of say... It's incomptech.com. It's I N C O M P E T E C H.com. And it's royalty free music. And it also says in their um, terms and conditions that as long as I mention them on YouTube and post a link, then I can play this to you without any worries of um, getting reprisals from YouTube and stuff like that. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to play you a, a couple of ones that I've picked out so far just to give you a range and then we'll go into some gameplay. This one's called Rocket and it's meant to be a kind of electronic based music. This one's in the rock section and it's called Gearhead. This one's called uh, A-Tech or I-Tech. Right, we're going to move on, uh, and this 
one uh, is in the kind of string section and this one's called Eyes Gone Wrong. It's only very short. I'm just trying to give you a range of different stuff. This one's called Disco String. Anyway, that's really bad. Uh, and then this one's called Alchemist Tower. Enough's enough. It's time for some gaming with some sound. What did I just say? Sound? You can have sound on games? Oh no. Right then guys, I've decided in my infinite wisdom that I'm actually going to, uh, we're going to do Crisis right from the very beginning so you can hear all the start up, all the kind of noises leading up into the game and then we'll do a section of gaming as well. Uh, and then I will wrap everything up and give you my thoughts and opinions at the end of the video. So, let's start some crisis. Remember, we're trying to listen to the music uh, and uh, review the, basically the uh, audio quality. So remember that it's all about the audio quality of what we're going to be doing.
think that's enough of that. Right then guys, uh, obviously audio on uh, YouTube is kind of difficult because I've down to the limitations of my camera, we're down to the limitations on uh, YouTube compressing the video and the audio. If you want to listen to it as close as you possibly can, you kind of need to have it in 1080 mode. But anyway, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on what I've found. Um, I'm, I do like uh, my audio. Um, it's kind of difficult because I, uh, I do use Z5500s and they are very computer based speakers. Um, but they are about as good as quality as computer speakers uh, can get. Bar some new ones that are coming in, but when I bought them they were about as good as you could possibly get with stuff that was aimed for the computers. Um, now these, music wise, I've got to admit that they, they, they almost sounded a bit hollow to me. Um, the, uh, although it's a mid bass driver, it's trying to cope with the bass and the mid bass and then you've got the tweet and the music, it honestly did sound hollow, it was like there, was, there really was something missing I don't, there really wasn't enough mid there for my um, liking uh, you could play around with the bass and stuff on the amps and generally it took it all away or just made it too bassy and uh, it was just kind of rumbling everywhere there was, yeah, it just wasn't enough in the middle for my liking, it was either too much top or too much bass. Now that was with music and I was talking, I'd listen to some rock, I was listening to uh, a lot of dance and trance music and then you know just some uh, like soundtracks and stuff like that as well. But I've got to admit that when you play games with these it's a completely different kettle of fish. Game wise they're brilliant, you've got it, it really, you've got like the the thump at the bottom to uh, give you like the explosion kind of shake and gunfire and stuff but then there's a lot of that, that top end that I was kind of saying before that may have you know been a bit of a problem was quite nice because you got like the when you're firing the guns and you get that metal kind of action you were getting all of that and uh, yeah it, as far as a gaming environment was concerned they were much much better so Without kind of going round and round and round in circles, all I can really say to you is if you if you use your PC for mainly kind of audio and stuff like that, as in like a lot of music and you like it up really loud, I wouldn't really say these are going to be the speakers for you because you can hit the limits of them really easily and wang the old amp right round and that's as, you know I mean you can get to about as loud as they go really easily or at least I can anyway I've got deaf neighbours so it doesn't really matter but if you're playing games then they were they were much much better so kind of distinguish the two if you're looking for speakers to listen to a load of music on um, and you, you really like your kind of music and uh, you're very kind of picky about what you listen to they're not going to be the speakers for you but if you're looking for a good looking, well built set of speakers to chuck on your gaming rig and you know what I mean, they do look good uh, and then to be perfectly frank, they could be perfect for you I mean I know there are a lot of kind of cheap speakers in the market at the moment uh, but these are really well built and like I said, as far as games are concerned, as you can hear on Crisis, it was brilliant um, I'm, I don't mind admitting I'm not an audiophile enough to understand why music was crap or music had that kind of missingness um, and it kind of sounded hollow but with games it sounded perfectly fine to me, it really did. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a bit of a strange one but at the end of the day like I said you can buy the speakers for about £40, £45 pounds, and then you've got the choice of the amps so you can either have the, uh, the, the more basic one or you can have the one with all the lights and the dials and loads of inputs and stuff like that. And the good bit about them is as well is that you don't have to have them in your rig, you can have them out the rig like we showed you as well. So yeah, lots of pluses, uh, a few negatives, but at the end of the day uh, I'm going to tell you everything. So yeah, not that great for music lovers, although if you're not really that picky you probably won't notice any difference. Uh, but if you're a gamer then uh, I think they sounded bloody brilliant. Uh, again, not the best I've ever heard, but for the money they sounded pretty damn good. So, uh, and I, I do want to say now that in, uh, when I do the uh, main review 
for this rig. Uh, pretty much everything that I said throughout the video was, oh my god, we can hear audio, first time. Uh, but I'm going to upload this video today, so it's kind of, it's just where I've got the video, it's kind of mixed up, but nevertheless. Right, score out of 10 for the, um, uh, the sides. Now, let me see. Out of 10, I'd probably give them a 6, which I think is a very fair score, uh, and I'd also give them a bronze award. If the music audio was uh, that little bit better, it would have been a silver, but because the, uh, the, there was that kind of distinguishable difference where I, I could hear that the, the audio was slightly lacking with um, music, then I, I kind of had to, I just nipped it down to a bronze. Um, but a very good set of speakers nonetheless, at the end of the day it did get awarded, um, so yeah, very good. Anyway, uh, this is Tiny Tom Logan with his first audio review, but there are going to be a few, wink wink, nudge nudge, out.